Hi, Aloha Cousins. Welcome to the Doorman here again. Open to the door with our Pokemon Infinity Nuzlocke. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more content, ding that bell for notifications, and check out all my social medias down in the description below. With that out of the way, how is everybody doing today? I'm not going to lie. I think I have to record like four or five episodes. I'm not sure, too sure. So I might run out of stuff to talk about by like the third or fourth episode of this. <laughs> <sighs> okay. We're going to quick team recap here just because of the fact that I should change up the team a little bit because I want to try to make it to where more of the fake Amon and the variants and stuff like that are on the team more than like regular Pokemon. I want to give them a chance to shine and stuff like that. But we got Spiral the Polyrath over here with Hypnosis, Body Slam, Brick Break, and Muddy Water. We have Rapidash over here with Charcoal, Flame Body, Stomp Fire Spin, Bounce, and Flame Wheel. We have Darkness over here, the Wariana, Pixie Plate, Timidate, Bite Howl, Moonblast, and Sand Attack. We have Kinko over here, the Shrew Mage with the Bright Powder, Magic Guard, Sludge, Side Beam, Calm Mind, and Energy Ball. I added Mom to the team with the Thick Lub and good for Marowax. Got Rocket Ability with False Light, Focus Energy, Boomerang, and Thrash. I do not know when this Pokemon gets Double Edge, but what it does, it is going to be a force to be reckoned with. Like I said, it's got really good defense. Like, it's got an up a defense nature. It's got really good defense, actually. Holy crap. Then we have Avenue the Paldean, no, Ego Egoian Muck over here. Poison Rock type. With the Cinch ability. Notice it's a decent mix attacker. I think it's got a little bit more attack. But it's a decent speed, a, de a decent mix attacker. With Sludge Wave, Acid Armor, Rock Slide, and Flame Charge. And I did learn this thing does have an evolution. Evolution. I just can't evolve it yet. Because I was looking at what uh, it was effective as and stuff like that. And I managed to accidentally learn that it does have another evolution to it. Which if it does, that's kind of cool. I can't wait to see what it could get. I just realized, though, that... You know what? We're going to give it the Black Sludge, honestly. We're going to give it the Black Sludge. Because I don't think there's anything else I want to give it that might be really good. Let me see. Nothing so far. If it had, like, an Expert Belt in here, that'd be really good. That's not bad. Let me see. Because it's more of a, mi a mixed attacker, so... Ooh, Quick Claw. Actually, let's give it the Quick Claw. Let's give it the Quick Claw. Because it is, like, really, really slow, and it'll give a chance for that. But as I understand, we are in here. I believe we're trying to get everywhere we need to go to. Okay. But like I said, it's one of those I have a lot of episodes to record, so yes, it is going to be really, really, you know, hectic here trying to get everything done. That's a weird place for a trainer. I just realized that. It's a weird place for a trainer. Okay, so that brings me back over here. And is that, I didn't mean to do that. That did not knock down the gate. Okay. So what did that... It, it just opened that up, which is, that's not good because I still need to do the gate. What's up with you? <gasps> this is the thief! The green, yeah, the green. Okay, okay, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. You got Spiral, Grass Dark type? I don't want to fight you. <laughs> I don't want to fight you. We're going to go to Babe here. We're going to go to Babe. I'm just like, no, oh, I don't like But I will talk about uh, the EBL. The EBL started off this week. I managed to battle my first opponent. Man, that did a lot of damage, actually. Holy crap. I managed to do my first battle against... Uh, okay. Um, he's going to Sucker Punch again. But it is one of those. I did go off against Matty Ice, my first opponent. By now, the episode has done been... Uh, the battle's been out and everything. I don't mind saying anything. <laughs> I didn't use my full strat with Jirachi because I even talked about it in the battle. I should have kept going for Wish and Cosmic Power to buff up my stats and then switch out to a different Pokemon instead of just letting instead of switching out. And I also halfway, not gonna lie, I halfway did forget about the uh, um, Sticky Webs, so that's my own fault. I even said I had something for Sticky Webs and I forgot about Sticky Webs, so yeah, that's my fault. 
But that's whenever I need to live and learn and be like, okay, with Stallmons, you got to get to the full potential before you can do anything. And I kind of jumped the gun on that. I jumped the gun on that a lot. I shouldn't have jumped the gun like that. Um, let's go and go into Mom. I don't think Magnetone has Levitate. The grass is steel type. No, that's, 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 no, 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 no. Back out, back out, back out, back out, back out, back out. Okay. I think I outspeed, but I'm not going to give that a shot. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> but I should have stuck with my stat with Jirachi, and that's whenever I'm like, hey, I learned from my mistake with that. I've never really used, like, I've used walls, but, like, they're, they're just, like, walls that attack. That's going to hurt a lot. Bellarity, then. I even knew it was going to do that, but I thought it was going to kill it. I did not. I'm neutral with Avenue. I don't like that just because of the fact that that's not going to be good for me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do Flame Charge. I can get a few little bit of, uh, I can get a few little things there. So I got my Defense Rose, I got my Speed Rose, and I can't believe I lost, babe, I lost my Rapidash. Oh, and that's not even going to help me, honestly. Because Kadabra is a Psychic type. I am Poison. Yeah. That's going to sucky suck. But that does, yeah. But that's the only thing I can say about the EBL match. It's one of those, I should have used my battling. I should have dot out my strategy instead of going like that. And I didn't even, uh, should give it back. I don't feel right just about it all. Beetle artifact originally belonged to my ancestors. Most of them perished when Giratina destroyed the temple in the desert. The stone I reclaimed from the museum was excavated from the ruins of the temple. Turns out Geralt, the well-known Ego Council member, has struck a deal with the museum. Gonna start holding tournaments at the top of the Trident Tower, and wants to use a stone as a selling point. I don't know if he was gonna give it away as a prize, use it as a trophy, or what. It just didn't sit right with me that one of the few remnants of my people was gonna be used in a way that completely neglects their story. You're right. I should return and tell how I feel. I suppose I should take accountability for my actions. Okay. Okay, so that's that. But, yeah, no. I need to learn which by the way i don't know if you ever got to saw the last episode or i don't know but like that's a cool little tangle i wish i would have got that um but that was the only thing i say i let him, um, i am learning more about the ebl and stuff like that i am more learning more and more each time i battle and other stuff like that so that's the only thing i can say i did learn from this experience that like don't count your monkeys quite yet or don't put all your eggs you know what i mean like don't jump the gun i jumped the gun a lot on that battle and that's what happened I need to take a breath. I didn't get to do that. I didn't tell myself to take a breath with each turn. Because I'm also halfway afraid of seeing it as a stall tactic when it's not more of a stall tactic. It's more of just calming myself down. Which I need to talk to Matt and let him know and let, you know, the council members know and everything. It's like, it's not for stall. It is so that way I can not click as many buttons as fast. Because I realize I click buttons really fast. I'm just like, click, 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 and I'm like, that's not what I need to do. Item. Bam, bam, Babe is now put in the place. Same thing with Spike. Oh, that's just sad. I don't have any other fire types, actually. I have none. Yeah, I don't have a single fire type. I'm trying to look for, like, a flying type, maybe? Um... Or normal. I mean, I've never used Boofflet. I've halfway wanted to use him because of the fact that he's that strong. Because the only other option I see would be maybe Scyther because it's bug and flying. I don't know if it has a dual wing. It has wing attack. Mm. Let me see. I met Delibird. Uh, I'm not the biggest with Delibird just because of the fact that, like, eh. So, I think a flying type would be my best thing. Which I do have Halucha. Only thing is, I already do have a fighting type. I'd have to add another water type. 
which I do have this guy, but I do already have a water dart type. I already have a poison type. I'll add a normal flying type. I'll add that. I'm going to add Star Raptor. I like Star Raptor. Star Raptor is really good. Yeah, I like Star Raptor. I'm going to add Star Raptor to the team. So, Blop, add the Starly for now. He is going to be in the back burner, just leveling up. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and add him. That, the cool thing is, too, I do get Fly again. So, there is that. I do get Fly again. I gave the Glowing Shard back to Geralt. Okay, do I got to talk to Gerald here? Able to find Marcus, he convinced to return the item he stole or reclaimed. Bravo! Actually, no, Marcus is surprised by this behavior. He's a son of a colleague of mine, Olivia. She's an Ego Council member. He actually filled me in on why he bothered to steal in the first place, and I can empathize with how he's feeling. I was in negotiation with the museum to purchase the glowing shard that they excavated from the Dunstone Desert many years ago. I was going to have it embedded in a gold trophy. I'm holding a tournament soon at the top of the tower, and I'd like to have a special trophy for the very first tournament. But now that I see my plan, what hurt Marcus, and the memory of the people of the Dunestone Desert, I have reconsidered. In fact, we've all come to an agreement. We will move forward with using the glowing shard as a centerpiece of the trophy. But the trophy itself will to continue to sit in the museum on display next to other Dunestone relics. The winner of the trophy will have their name engraved on the trophy that will be displayed for all to see. Are you still okay with this, Marcus? Yes, as long as the thing is available to the public, I am content. Sorry about all this trouble again. I should have just talked to you about it in the first place. Oh, no worries, Marcus. Well, thank you, doorman. Pulls it now. Oh, this has been settled. Things can go back to normal. See you around. If you need me, I'll be at the Trident Tower. Okay, so I'm able to go left now, but the thing is, at the same time, we're kind of want to go to that tower. I don't know what level the tower is. It's the only thing. Because if it's level 50, I'm not 100% sure I want to do the tower thingy. So, yeah. I gotta learn to get the dang water pail. That's the only- I don't- I wanna know more about the Trident Tower. I want- I can't- mm. Hey, Grimer's back over there. Okay. This is the Trident Tower. Yeah, that's the Trident Tower. Okay. Um, Trident Tower. Okay, so I gotta go- uh, I gotta go to the very top. Which floor? Tournament Lobby. I want to know information. What level and what other kinds of stuff here? Oh, uh, they're not ready for it. Okay. Okay, so I couldn't even do the tower if I wanted to. Okay. Pretty sure I'm going to come back and do the tower. Honestly, when I can. I don't know what I could get, but like, I can get something. But we could definitely go and go left here, because there's nothing left here in this little town that we could do. There's nothing left. Not that I know of. What the heck? Oh, she got a Lavatar. <laughs> I love the Tyranitar. Okay. So we have the Dunestone Grove. I don't think I've got that. No, I have not. Okay. Ooh, Electrike. I'm not going to lie. I would love having an Electrike. That'd be really good. I would love having an electric. I love my electric. It's so good. He's actually on my EBL team. Mmm. Oh, come on. What did I miss? I missed. I managed to get it that time, though. I need, like, Waterfall on Polyrap or something like that. But I do know, as far as EBL, my next matchup is going to be against the amazing Humberto. Which is, he was Guanoka Gaming, but now he is the team, the uh, coach of the Ford of Relegators, and even his new channel is, um, Lionheart Plays. That is his new channel, go check him out. He is my next EBL opponent. I am kind of really nervous to fight him. I'm really nervous to fight him, because as far as I understand with him, technically, um, he has been undefeated so far as I know of. He would have been, like, the champion fight, if anything, but he had some uh, issues happen, and he wasn't able to do that battle. So it was one of those, we never know who what would have happened. Not saying Pidge didn't deserve that, he deserved it. But it would have probably been different finalists, depending on the battle and stuff like that. But it is one of those, as far as I understand, he has been undefeated. And that terrifies me a little bit. 
Because he's like, oh, I'm not going hard this season. I got an all fairy tight team and stuff like that. I'm like, I don't care. You're still scary. You were still very, very, very scary. Because of the fact that you are, you like, you have done this for years. Yeah. So that's the only thing is, is like, yeah, I have him to fight next. And I'm like, ah. No in the whirlwind. Which Scotland's about to evolve here in just a second, actually. Yeah. Like I said, it really won't take Skyla long to catch up with the whole Pokemon and stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna go and heal a little bit. Only thing is, I did use a lot of water type moves there. I think they're going after me, and they are, so I need to keep moving. I was like, am I gonna be able to get away from this guy? And I'm like, I didn't. Uh oh. Where the regen hit a roadblock. Okay. Yeah, because we don't have Rock Smash yet. I need Rock Smash. No, 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 no. Okay, this is my wild encounter. Heat more. You know what? I'm actually okay with the heat more. I'm actually okay with the heat more. Okay, that was a lot better. I thought I was like, am I going to kill this thing? Uh, net ball, no. Heavy ball, no. Dust ball, no. Fast ball, no. I think an ultra ball will be fine. I don't think I have any status on anybody. Which is kind of a... Wait. I hit no heat. <laughs> I did this too. I did this with game reviews. We uh re redid some of the um Soul Link and I got Gengar. I'm pretty sure this is out after the episode. If not, I am sorry for spoiling, but I got Gengar and I'm like, I can't put this Pokemon to sleep. Oh wait, I have hypnosis. This is why I chose Gengar. <laughs> That's one reason why I like Spiral. I like Spiral. He has that. Oh, I'm gonna name this Anteater. Anteater. I probably should have named him Lick, though, just to be funny. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I got away from you. I would love Manetri, but at the same time, I don't want to be locked into one of those Pokemon just because of, you know, just because of that. I don't want to be locked in, you know what I mean? It's like, oh my gosh, I can no longer get whatever I want. Okay, there's a chest. There's a chest. I want the chest. Okay. Binding Band. Okay, that's not too bad grass there. I need to go back and get that one item there. Glide score would be nice. And it's one of those, like I said, I do get a face off against Humberto, and like, I'm a little bit nervous for that. I am a little bit nervous when it comes to this battle. I have a strat, because, like, he does have a full fairy-type team. And it's one of those, I do have two steel types. And I'm like, okay, that's good. I can't bring Rayquaza, because he's dragon. Dragon gets bodied by fairies. And then, like, I think, like, I have a fire type. I think they resist fairy. Um, I have a dark type, so I'm not bringing him. Depending on the Pokemon, maybe I may bring uh, Claydol. I don't know. I don't know if it'll, because he might, because depending on the speed of his Pokemon and stuff like that, I might be able to use Claydol. I think Claydol will be pretty good, honestly. Okay, so we're going to pop here. Skarmory would be nice. I know it has a pre-evolution. Does that mean it has evolution or no? Because if Skarmory had an evolution, that'd be kind of sick, actually. Not gonna lie, that'd be kind of sick. But it's one of those. Let me look at his team. I could probably look at his team here real quick. I did not mean to do that. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let me see here. Yes. Okay, so he's got Lugia, which, I'm sorry, is a tanky tank. I have one in Reborn. It's a tanky tank. Uh, Zacian. Thing is deadly. That was a crit. It is deadly. Now it is not going to be the sword form, which is still good, but it still gets the ability for it, which is still very deadly. Grimmsnarl. It's got Prankster. It can do that with, like, like uh, the it's, it can do those moves and stuff like that, which is, I'm like, that's also scary. Because it can set up, like, it can set up all the stuff it needs to set up. It can set up, like, thunder waves and screens and stuff like that with Prankster is going to go before anything. Ow, why do you have that? All right, I don't like you anymore. I need to go into darkness just because of the fact that I know I was hoping for the extra assurance, and then I move faster with Moonblast. Galarian Weezing is a uh, poison fairy type. It shouldn't be too bad. I think it has Levitate, but it has also the ability neutralizing gas. 
Um, 65, 80. Okay, it does hit physical, but it's better than that, at least. It does have the neutralizing gas, which gets rid of all the abilities and stuff like that. Which I'm like, eh, that's not the same fast sometimes. So, there is that. Ooh, gunshot. I like Sludge Wave, though. I like Sludge Wave, though, because it's got way more accuracy. Togekiss! I've used Togekiss. It is a tank. It is a tank, and it can hit hard, and it's one of those, it can deal decent damage. The only thing is that with Togekiss is that it is slow. It is super slow. Whimsicott, great support mon, honestly. It, I've seen it used in VGC. It's got a great support, it is a great support mon, if anything. So I'm like, eh, that also kind of doesn't sit right with me. I'm like, she's... Okay, I gotta get... I gotta go back to the Pokemon Center. But like I said, it's one of the Whimsicott's great support Pokemon and everything. So there's that. Alola Ninetales. Good Ice type. It creates hail. It can do some of the weather. It creates Aura Veil, which has a lot of support usage. I'm like, dude. And then Bear Scudo, it is fast. Like, it is like one of the fastest Pokemons. And it hits hard. I've used it with the uh, Rent team. The Rain the rain, the rain, Rent Rain team from the Battle Tower. Yeah, Bear Scudo is hard. And then Renugrius. It is, that thing is a wall. And it goes ground type. It's like, it has the added ground type. So, like, that thing is a wall. It can wall Manetric, actually. I just realized that, actually. It can wall Manetric. I don't like that. I may not bring Manetric. Just because he does bring that, like, because Manetric might be decent against the, um... It might be decent against the Togekiss, but at the same time, if he brings out Renew Grit, you know, if it brings out that ground type, he can just shut down my Manetric. I just realized that. Yeah, he can shut down my own ground type. He can just shut that down. Um, okay. How'd I do this? How did I get over there? Oh, okay. I get it now. I was like, how did I get over there? But I mean, it's just... Yeah, like it's one of those... Like I said, his team is terrifying. And then at the same time, he's like, oh, I'm not going to try hard. I don't believe you. I'm calling it right now, Humberto. I do not believe you. I never believe you when you say, I'm gonna. I'm not going to go that hard. I don't believe you. I will never believe you. I will never, ever, 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 ever believe you. Never. Never. Who am I fighting? Oh, hit my chan. Uh, let me go ahead and do Kinko. Because the cool thing is, is that Hitmonchan does have Fire Punch. But it'll do, it'll do it on the defensive side, and Hitmonchan's got more special defense than defense. Okay, you are faster than me. I'll actually take that, I'm not going to lie, because I can still hit you with wide through White Guard. I can still hit you through White Guard, so like, I'm still good. We're still good here, buddy. Like, I can take that. As long as you don't hit me with a Hitmonchan again, or I get to heal before the Hitmonchan. Because it has Fire Punch and Ice Punch. And, like, that's kind of deadly, but I can live a hit. I ain't got to play a potion game. Okay, we're going to heal up. I want to get the TM. I want to get the team over there. I know that. I don't know if I can, because you need strength. Oh, that's the way to the next town. Okay, well, what's over here? Probably should have recognized that he was going to see me. Because I'm like, oh, he's moving around. He's not going to, you know, be, you know, even like that. No, he's still, yeah. Sturdy. No sturdy. Okay. I was more like, dang it. Ooh, Aerial Ace. Uh, Wing Attack is 60. Okay, now, yeah. Aerial Ace is better just because of the fact that I can't Seismitoad. I have a grass type. I have a grass type. But it's just one of those I'm really worried about his team. Like, his team is going to be really hard to beat. And it's one of those I need to learn from my mistakes from Matt's battle. I need to learn my mistakes. I have no fire. He's only weak to fire. I can go ground type though. 
That's not bad damage. And it hit two times. Because if you don't know, Boomerang does 50, but it hits twice. So pretty much it is a pretty early Earthquake, if anything. Like, it, it is a really early Earthquake. Because he gets Boomerang, like, really on. Only thing is, it does have, like, 90 accuracy, so that does suck. But again, it's pretty much just an Earthquake. Okay. I'm sorry, Batman. I know you just let me just just know I love you. Just know I love you. <laughs> I think Skyla might be able to evolve by the end of this episode. Ooh, I don't know. Focus Sash, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I said there is Skarmory and stuff like that. Yeah. So Skarmory and Electric for Electric for a day now. That is a why do you have Drizzle? Why do you have Drizzle? You're probably going to be a water flying type. I have no electric. Huh. He does it body me, but I really got nothing for him. Like, Darkness is the only thing I have to fight him. Typhoon? Can we not? Am I about to get swept by a Blastoise? Am I about to be swept by a Blastoise? I, I, I don't know. That is a flying type move. I, that was my only shot, honestly. That was my only shot. Okay, Polyrath just went down. This thing walls me so hard, honestly. I don't... Live it, live it, live it. You lived it. I take that. Okay, please, like, Typhoon. That'd be, like, Hurricane. Because, <laughs> holy crap, like, Miss. Can we miss with this move? Can we miss? Can we miss with this move? I would love to miss with this move. Our culture is a little bit better. Uh, he's still going to kill me. Okay, energy ball doesn't do crap. Thank you for missing with the typhoon. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the crit, Kinko. Oh my gosh. That Blastoise is so terrifying. Terra Thwack? Oh yeah, I forgot! Marowak can evolve! I don't know how though! Alright, that, that is... Now I want to keep Marowak alive, because I want to get this Terra Thwack! Oh, that's going to do a lot of damage! There goes Kinko! Okay, I do have a water type. I do not have a water type. Uh... Shiitake mushrooms. Why are you this powerful? Oh my gosh. How do I evolve my terror? How do I evolve that? I want to know how to evolve that. I would really want to know how to evolve that, actually. I really do. Like, that is one of those I really want to know how to evolve that now. Oh, he missed. Thank you so much for that, miss. Okay. How do I evolve into Terra Thera? How do I evolve into Terra? Like, is it a, is it a move he has to learn? Chansey, this could be the fighting type one. Nope, it's regular. Okay, cool. Is it a move? Is it a hard stone? What does he need to know? What does he need to know to evolve? And I cannot believe I'm all three Pokemon this episode. Okay. Okay, so there, there's a TM over here. I will take this TM. Retaliate! Actually, you know what? I kind of want to learn that a little bit. Just because of the fact that, like, I'm losing team members. The Doomstone Desert. Okay. I'm at 29 minutes. I'm going to do the desert in the next episode. <sighs> Thank you all for watching today's episode. Please like the episode. It does you know, help with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe. We are so close to our goal. Once we get the 250 goal, then we'll be able to put the uh, merch design, the, the designs on like hoodies and t-shirts and mugs and stickers and stuff like that. 
I have the Texas Tyranitar. I even also have the Aloha Cousins. And I have a little bit of an idea of what I want to do for, like, extra things. I do. I need to double check with something, but I do have something I want to do. But until then, I will see you everybody next time.